up welcome back to the channel so today is going to be a install type of video and this is in collaboration with a company called my lisa hair and they are a seller on aliexpress so um they sent me this really really affordable peruvian curly um frontal wig and it looks really good so um let's see i got 24 inches and 150 density and it was only 143.45 so it is under that 200 dollars if you guys are interested but i don't want to talk the whole video about you know this hair i just want to show you guys how i got this install and i did baby hairs and stuff on camera so if you guys want to see that please keep watching all right you guys so i'm starting off with my gel braids of course and you're going to need a nude cap now if you're darker toned i could you know tell you to get one from your beauty supplier online that is a chocolate color but they do have these in beauty supply stores um so i'm starting off and i'm cutting two little holes into the wig cap for my ears so it's more convenient for me when i end up cutting the um you know actual lace like trimming it so it fits and the wig fits and all that good stuff i did see a couple youtubers do this but now we're going to take our got to be we're doing the stocking cap method and I just want to say this is probably the worst stocking cap method that I have ever did on this channel. I actually haven't done one in like about a year. I don't really like plastering, you know, wig caps to my head and then gluing them and gluing the wig and then having to take it all off. I just don't like that idea of being stuck wearing the same thing for um, a couple days. But I'm just going to keep blow drying that until it is hard and then we will get on camera and trim it. So you guys, the shears that I'm using, they are super dull and it was so hard to cut this wig off. Like, I was just like over it. I'm like, this is not gonna work, but I will be going to buy more so I don't have to deal with that problem. But yes, I am cutting it off. Simple, you know, you can try to put your wig on to see if it's where you want or not, but really just get it close as possible to the hairline, but not on the hairline. Uh, I made that mistake before and I snatched my um, hairs off in the front, so don't do that. Just take your time, you know, use your, your best judgment to make sure you don't glue the wig on top, actually on top of your hairline, because that is the point of the stocking cap method to kind of protect and also to give a more seamless look. When doing your stocking cap method, I encourage to have your wig on hand and make sure it can fit or if it's, you know, where you want it to be. You don't want your hairline too far up or too far back. So, you know, just put your wig on before you completely install it to make sure it's at the right position. Now, um, about it looking more flawless, just take some powder. Now, don't use powder unless it's actually your true, true foundation color because um, this kind of showed through, so I, I actually am going to go ahead in with my foundation to make it blend a little bit more because it was kind of standing out, if that makes sense. So I would just say go in with a beauty blender and dab just a little of your foundation on the stocking cap and it should be fine. So as you guys can see, it looks super flawless. Well, in my opinion, um... The bald cap is very undetectable, um, but I'm still going in and putting my makeup <laughs> because I wasn't really satisfied completely and I felt like my makeup might darken it and it did somewhat, um, but I'm just cutting the lace off and not much of it because I'm not gluing the middle of the wig down, just the sides because I don't, I didn't want it just stuck to my head. I actually took it off the same night and that was pretty much it but it is giving me very much scalp vibes 
very much flawless um and now i'm just gonna install the wig So for baby hair, um, I didn't do all of them on camera just because that's super hard for me and I always end up like failing miserably and it just doesn't look right. So I just decided to do two little swoops on camera and the rest I did do off camera. Alright you guys, so now it is time to saturate this hair because it's dry. The texture actually was really really soft, it wasn't dry dry, like brittle dry, but I am using this Cantu conditioner, it is leave-in conditioning spray. It's also used for detangling, I did buy a couple of Cantu products while I was wearing my natural hair, but I love how it defines curls, it's really inexpensive and it just made these curls pop baby, like they looked really good. Um, I did end up adding water and some actual cream leave-in conditioner off camera so these are the curls and this is the finished look now i will say if you want the hair to be super super flat um to add a little bit more conditioner and water but i loved the outcome and i hope you guys do too and thank you for watching another video